Hey people, what's up? This is Jay Barr, and I'm going to show you how to play your pictures in Serum. Yo guys, what's up? This is Jay Barr with Barr Creative. And uh, yeah, got a new screen recorder here, trying it out. Also got the new Logic update last night. So let's see. Um... Just quick about the Logic update. If you're wondering what version I'm using, it's the latest one. This is January 2017. You can see that the interface is a little bit lighter gray. It's cleaned up. It looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is to show you guys how to play your pictures. I think this is the coolest thing. I totally nerded out on this. And so what you'll need are two things. You, the, As far as I know, the only VST, like the only computer synthesizer that will play this, is Serum. Serum's by X for Records, Steve Duda. It's pretty awesome. If you email the helpline, it's Steve Duda. Like, pretty freaking cool um, that he actually personally answers the emails still, and it's the guy that designed the actual uh, synthesizer. Like, mind blowing. So, anyway, uh, waveforms guys so if you're not familiar with waveforms this basically portrays the wave that synth synthesizer is going to play it's it's basically the uh, the sound wave shape so this is a saw wave I got to check my levels here bring that down a little bit bring the voice up hold on one second guys check 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 all right All right, so that's your basic saw wave. So what we can do with serum is the coolest freaking thing possibly since sliced bread. So um, I minimized logic for a second because I want to open this photograph. Now, this photograph I took in downtown Denver. It's, uh, let me see here. This is a picture of the statues in front of the art um whatever dude the art museum i don't freaking know it's downtown denver big statues if you've ever been down there you've probably seen them but here's the coolest thing the only criteria is that it's got to be a png file it won't play jpegs so the easiest way to do that on a mac is just open a jpeg in preview you just double click on jpeg it'll open in preview automatic and what you can do is uh when you want to save this as a PNG you just do export file and then this drop down will allow you to pick PNG and then when you do whoops I already made it so here it is as a PNG file now the only catch is that it has to be a PNG file once it is you can click it and drag it in and it looks like something happened but doesn't look like the photo well click on the wavetable and you'll see this in three-dimensional view and Ooh, we're not it. There we go. And we're playing that picture, guys. Like, we're actually playing that photograph. So, I think it's based on brightness levels, which is why I converted this to black and white. You can see the lightest areas, like his head. So, let's change the wavetable position right to where his head appears to be. And we'll take a look. And you can see this big old spike because this is the brightest part of the photograph here. It's almost 100%. So you can see super bright, super high on the waveform. Also, this little glimmer off the chest of the other statue is this peak here. And uh, yeah, I think this is so cool. So, so that's the sound we're getting. If we change the wavetable position, you'll hear a change in the sound. Let's visualize it like this. Now, we can quickly go from pretty mellow to pretty heavy. Let's add some sub. So, pretty cool. Can't really hear the sub on that level, so we'll bring it up one for one. Pretty awesome. So we can start adding some things in. Let me see. I've got these queued up and ready. So we'll we'll try this. So pretty cool. This is a low pass filter cutoff. So in other words, this is like the frequency spectrum. Highs are over here, lows are over here. And so when I adjust it, 
you can hear only the lows coming through and then when I go to the right some of the highs come in so it's basically how they make wobble bass so let's check that out real quick we gotta go up with here let's sync this up MIDI learn we'll do this so it's a little weird let's take the res down a little bit and change the range there you go you got wobble bass so <laughs> I don't know, I get a kick out of that stuff. So, um, yeah, guys, so we have our wavetable generated by our PNG image. You drag and drop it right on the wavetable section. We've added a sub and we've messed with the cutoff just a touch. And we have, you know, you can mess with that. Get some wobble bass. So, if we had a beat in here, you could see how that all plays together but i just think that's the coolest thing guys i wanted to show you how to play your pictures with serum hope you enjoyed the video j bar bar creative see you next time <laughs>